y'all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mod, and today is Back to the Future Fridays, everybody. So we have issue 60 of Build the Back to the Future DeLorean, and this one's mahoosive, I really admit, because I've had this box for a while now, uh, I got it last year, I can't remember what month it was, um, because of Egomoth just sending random issues, but this... Is issue 60. It's massive. Absolutely massive. And it's basically the frame for the body of the car. So we are going to be starting working on that now. Uh, we've finished working on the interior of the DeLorean. And that's now down onto the chassis. But now we're going to start working on the exterior of the car. And this is going to take us through quite a lot of the issues uh, working on the outside. It's basically going to take us more or less up to the end of the build so it's really exciting now to be moving on to the sort of final stage of the DeLorean really but I don't, wouldn't call it final stage because we're only on issue 60 okay anyway I think we better get started on this one so with all that said let's get modelling <laughs> Okay, so I've opened up the box and got everything ready. This is, it just fits on camera. This thing is huge and it weighs quite a lot as well. Right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to flip this over and we just need to take away the supports that are in here. This is more or less just for shipping. Um, basically, so it just doesn't warp. Okay, it's not liking that one, so. We'll do it manually. Gosh, that's tough in there. Oh, that's not wanting to come out at all. Uh, I'll try this one. See if it should... Right, that one's coming out nice and easy. Okay, that's one. Quite long, the screws. Quite chunky. Now, they did give us a screwdriver for this issue, so I'm going to use that. Because these screws in the middle are huge. And I'm just basically going to work my way around. Taking these screws out. Another one. That's another one. I'm a bit off camera there. That's another one, but this one here, really? Oh, all right, so if you use the screwdriver they've supplied to you with this issue, I can get behind it. Sort of loosened it off a bit and I'll yeah, that's really tight in there. Okay, it's come in quite long screws as well, so you need to be careful. Okay, that's now out. <laughs> Gosh, they were huge screws. But it's out now. Okay, so... We have got a little bit of work to do on this, not a lot. Just trying to move these bits out the way. Right, okay, so what we've got to do next is we've got to basically uh, put in the uh, catches for the door uh, for the doors. And what we've got simply here, we've just got like a rod and a spring. And we're going to place it. Just in this recess here. Bit fiddly. Okay. Then we've got this bit here. And this is just simply going to go over the top of it. You've got a little bit of a spring loaded catch there. And that one's screwing in with some AM screws. 
Right, so I'll just get my screwdriver loaded up. Don't want to stick to that. Probably demagnetize it somehow, so I'll go back to the old fashioned way. I'm going into metal, so I am going to put just pad on the uh, screw. Okay, and then that's in place just like that. And then basically we're just going to repeat on the other side what we've done <laughs> on the left side. There is one saving grace that this is not as big as the Ecto-1 car. This does actually fit on my cutting mat. Basically trying to get some tension on this spring so it sits where it should do but then it springs off. <laughs> I'm just pleased we're starting to work on the chassis to tell you the truth. It's been, uh, been a bit of a, I wouldn't say a bad thing with this build but it's very sporadic in you know, do I get the parts? Do I get the if I get the if I get parts? You know, are there the parts that I need for the issue and all that? It's it's very unpredictable. This one. All right, I know my camera, but this one's giving me a little bit of grief. This spring. So if I just get a flathead screwdriver. Because you have to have that under some tension. And then we'll get our little cover here. And then we need to get an AM screw. And screw that down. And there we have the second one in. And that's all there is to do in issue 60. But I mean, what well, I can admit, this nice to have a nice big chunky piece of metal. I will say so. Um, so yeah, um, the next thing we get, we get another box and we'll be doing the front here, uh, in the next issue. So yeah, really, really impressive, um, for this one. Um, it's nice to have a big chunk of metal. Um, some parts we'll, we'll see on this, some parts we won't because they get covered with, uh, trims and everything. But we will be able to see this nice little bit just round here, uh, when the windscreen goes in. But that is all there is to do in issue 60, and that is this issue complete. Well, that's all there is to do in issue 60 of the DeLorean. Really, really enjoyed that. Absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed that issue. It, yeah, it's nice we're starting to work on the uh, the outer shell of the car. Um, uh, we do have issue 61, that which we're coming next Friday. Uh, and I'm also going to be working on a couple of the mods for the DeLorean, which I can do uh, this coming weekend. So please look out for them. Um, I'm also hopefully this weekend I will be doing a review and how to assure you about uh, the Terminator power mod that's come from Partwork Upgrades. So there's that to look out for as well on the channel this weekend. And I'm still hoping for the Titanic to turn up in the post. I really want to get the, my hands on the wooden one from Eagle Moss because I just think that is going to be awesome and it's something new for me to learn how to do. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a massive thanks up. If you haven't already subscribed, but please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of any future videos on the channel. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.